I've got to record the Nissan Air Commander video today. I've got to do the review on it. Trouble is, reviews have got to be like non-biased. You've got to have some positive things and some negative things to say about it. Otherwise, it just sounds like it's a paid promotion, like some stupid advertorial or something. What can I say about the Air Commander that I don't like? Hmm, it's got to be something. There is that one thing. It's a bit stupid. It's not big. Oh, uh, it'll have to do. All right, roll the clip. The Nissin Air One is by far my favourite radio trigger for a speed light system that's on the market today. But it's not without its problems, and I've found one. Only one, but I wanted to get that out of the way first so that I can then get on with telling you what I do like about the product and giving you a uh, demonstration about how to sync it up and get it all working. So, this is the thing that I didn't like particularly compared to my Young Nuo systems. It's not a big thing. Inside this battery door on the side here, we have, dun dun dun, shock horror, we have uh, treble A batteries. Um, it's not a huge issue, um, but um, because my Young Nuo system, it takes double A batteries, which are the same that go in the speed lights, I just found that mildly annoying because I didn't have any of those, I'd go and get some. It's not a big problem, frankly, and I don't think it's going to be a, a deal breaker for anybody. Uh, these batteries are cheap and readily available, and you can get them from all the main and major manufacturers. So uh, not a big issue there, and definitely it's nice to have something that takes, you know, one of the, the, the standard cylindrical size batteries because it means you're not going to run into issues in the field. If you do need to go and get something in a, in a pinch, you'll be able to just go down and find them at any, uh, you know, sort of corner store, newsagent, you know, whatever. Um, so not a big problem at all, uh, but just a slight annoyance that it wasn't the same as uh, the, the other batteries but I guess the reason for having the smaller one is so that you can keep this very slim profile on the side of the product and it does look I mean look at it look how futuristic that looks it's like this little kind of sci-fi thing and that's even before we've switched the thing on and had a look at it so how do you sync these things up let's have a little look because part of the review of this is really going to be a demonstration really because I think that one of the strongest suits that this system has is just how simple it is to set up and use. So first of all let's pair it with the i60, well we're going to pair them simultaneously but we'll start with the, the i60. Um, what we've got on the back of here is um, a little uh, command wheel and uh, you need to set it into one of these that say A, B or C in them. So uh, what they are is the flash groups that you're going to be using. So turn the wheel round into A, B or C. We're going to be using A for this one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press simultaneously the power button and um, this button in here where it says channel, it's, it's not the scrolly wheel on the outside, but the, the bit in the middle is a button that you can press down. If you press those simultaneously for a couple of seconds, do you see that? What happens is the first one goes red and then it goes to green and starts emitting that uh, that beeping noise. Uh, that means it's ready to, um, it's now hunting for uh, this receiver. Uh, but first of all, we're going to sync the other one up as well. So we're going we're to have actually both these flashes running off this. So we're going to let that sit and, and hunt for its partner for a minute uh, while we, we deal with this one. And that's done in exactly the same way, but you don't have to dial any screens in here. It's simply pressing the power button here and the set button again, not the scrolly wheel, but the set button in the middle simultaneously. And again, uh, you'll see that the, the, the light on this one, it goes green, but then goes flashing and makes the beepy noise. Um, so that's that. So then now both hunting for an air commander, an air one unit that they can, uh, they can talk to. And it's just the same, it's, it's the exactly the same principle. So power button and the button in the middle there, uh, you press those down, the button goes white to start with, then it goes orange while it's starting to do some communication, and then they all sync up and they all do their thing. And, and when all the screens kind of like pop up, you'll then see uh, them, uh, that they're all synced, they quieten down. And, uh, and, and everything is all well with the world. And now, at the moment, you can see we set this one up to group A. Um, it's got an A in the corner there. This one also is currently in A. And uh, you can see on this one, if I bring it up to the camera, uh, you can see that this is currently on, uh, on one eighth power. And uh, so, is the, uh, so, so is the little i60. And indeed, if we look at the screen on the air, Commander as well for group A, we can see that that is also in one eighth power. So um, if we now use the command wheel in the middle, uh, if we hit the set key so that we're, we're setting uh, group A and, and turn these down, you see how these are, are moving in, in unison on either side as I, as I turn these 
Uh, so that's going going up on that side. You can see that one there is they're all turning simultaneously because they're all on grippe. So you can control these. These are all in manual mode, uh, and uh, you can you can control the flash power up and down simultaneously with you know a number of different flashes that are all set up into group A. If you wanted to change these, say for example you wanted to put this one in group B so that you could then change the flash power of these two independently if you're doing a portrait shoot or something, um, it's dead simple. Hit the, the, the set button here, um, you've uh, hit it again to bring up this little menu and then you can control A, B or C on the little, little scroll wheel. If we bring that up to the, the camera so you can see a little bit easier. Um, so we're going to have this on, uh, we're going to have this on B. Uh, so let's just hit that on B, hit the set and now uh, what we've got in on this one here, uh, we can now control between the two. If we wanted to go between A and B, uh, now this one will move, but this one is, see this one isn't moving now, this one's staying on, on one eighth power where we left it here, um, but this one is now moving up and down as group A. So we can now control separately group A and group B, and if we wanted to add a group C onto there, we could do, so we could have a main light, a fill and a rim, um, if we wanted to control multiple groups simultaneously, we can have A and B uh, together and now they're locked in again. So now you can see that they're, they're now moving up and down simultaneously again. So if we wanted to up the, the, the power you know, in the same ratio as each other, then we could also do that. If we wanted to change the system from being in manual to being in TTL, we simply hit this button here until we get the TTL light up at the top. Um, the, the, the system works in exactly the same way. So, you know, A is going to be, still be this flash on the, on the right here, but this time you're simply controlling the flash compensation uh, as opposed to, um, you know, going up in, in kind of like manual blocks. Uh, you're, you're, in, in the middle, it's going to look after itself and then you can push or pull that exposure uh, from the, 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 the command wheel on the, on the top of the camera there. And that really is all there is to it. And look how clean and beautiful all those screens are. They're absolutely gorgeous to see. They're very easy to see in low light. They're very easy to see in daylight. And uh, the whole th system is just really, really simple. And that's so important for gear that you're going to be using out in the field. It has to just be able to sync and work properly with no messing about, no fiddles, no trillions of menus doing all kinds of superfluous things that most of the time most of us don't use. You know, the reality is that what you need to be able to do is get your flash off the camera and change the power settings up and down. That's for most of it, certainly for what I do, that's most of what you're going to be needing. And if that's what you need your flash system to do and your radio control trigger to do, then the, um, the Air Commander system from Nissin is going to be absolutely brilliant. Now, I know at the time of recording this that there isn't an option to be able to do high-speed sync with these systems that may be coming down the road later. It's not something that I use personally. I do know it is something that there have been a lot of comments on the Nissin videos that I've been putting up uh, about when that's happening and, and how people are, are looking forward to that when it comes out and it's something they use a lot um uh, you know i hope that it is something that they do in the future because it is you know uh, a, a big part of a lot of people's photography uh, so if you are looking for high speed sync you know currently this isn't the system to go for but if you're not looking for that but you are looking for really good uh, simple uh robust well thought out well engineered well designed uh ttl full fuji ttl uh, compatible systems, then this is definitely something that's worth considering. So, uh, to give you a rundown on the prices, the uh, the, the DI seven hundred just by itself comes in at about uh, just under two hundred pounds. Uh, the I seventy, uh, sorry, the the Air One comes in at about seventy five pounds, and the I sixty A comes in at around about two hundred and fifty pounds at uh, recommended retail prices. You may be able to find those a little bit cheaper online if you shop around. Um, there is currently a bundle offer available at the moment, so the uh, the, the hundred the hundred ninety nine two hundred pound. DI 700A and the 75 pound uh, Air One unit can be bought as a bundle uh, for uh, around about 240 pounds. So uh, that's that's a really uh, decent bundle if you're looking to get both of these two units. So that's definitely something that's worth considering. Um, if you haven't already seen my main uh, comparison between um, the, the three flashes that Nissin do, the DI700A, the I60A, and the I40A for the Fuji systems, uh, have a little look on, on, the, uh, on the screen now and click on that video. That's going to take you through to that. As always, if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.